All right, so this is a different five minutes video. I, I really want to talk about retouching and should I say how best you can be good at retouching. I've been asked several times um, when I'm when people come in to inquire on my masterclass, they do normally go like, can I be better within five days? Which of course I teach my one-on-one -on -one masterclass within five days. Um, What I usually tell them is retouching it's more of a personal preference than what you think you want somebody else to see or what you've seen somewhere that you really want to replicate right so it's you and how you portray whatever image you want anyone out there to put um, you know to perceive the image you understand so you can't be as good as someone you can't be um, the same as someone but you can be either better or be very bad so in today's video i really want to talk about what retouching is and how best you can make retouching personal and some tips and tricks on how you can you know be better at your own retouching game so let's just show five minutes on the clock but wait before i get into today's video make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification icon and also make sure you share this video give me a thumbs up like right now which would be very much appreciated and please guys when you have any questions kindly let me know down in the comment section not in my dms it feels really rude when i'm not trying to you know um reply your dms or avoid them that's not it i i want to have the engagement here just so that i can have people watch my video when youtube recommends them to them more so please and um, please again leave down any question you want in the comment section i will personally get to it i'm a fast replier so just don't worry about that all right so like i said let's just throw five minutes on the clock now all right so with retouching retouching is more of a personal preference than what you want somebody else to see i know we always go like photography is art and what whatever i'm about to talk about today applies to all field of creativity right so i'm talking um, in relation to photography since i'm a photographer and i'm a bit of a content creator but let's just leave it as um, photography so photography is art and art can be interpreted in many different ways retouching should be of a creator's choice not what i think i want to see on your image um it, it used to be like that but i feel like after growing a lot i realized that um you need to appreciate what somebody is putting in what somebody is doing to their image rather than criticize from afar all you can do is make suggestions you can't tell them what to do just make suggestions so it's more of a creator's choice which of course my choice is to make sure my images look organic and natural somebody's choice is to make sure that their images look as smooth or their skin looks as smooth as a baby's quote-unquote ass so it depends on whatever it is you would really want to see make sure it's a creator's choice and it will take you a long way when it comes to you know researching and editing in general you should also allow yourself to improve Previously, I used to edit very bad. Like, you know, you know, if you should see my images from 2017 when I started photography, the idea of coloring, the idea of skin retouching, ah, it doesn't speak well of me when, if, if I am to, you know, use that as my portfolio, I don't think anybody at all would like to, you know, purchase my craft or would pro probably patronize my um, services because, um, um, back then I was still you know I was still coming up and I realized that I should allow myself to grow so opening up to people to teach me opening up to you know critiques opening up to bad comments good comments this will allow yourself to do recently I did you know comments on a friend's picture who I thought was a friend the response I got was it's none of my business um it, it, it kind of hurts because I feel I feel like you're my friend i'm a teacher i can you know chip in since we are friends I, it doesn't matter however i put it you will take it from a friendly level i feel like a lot of creatives are not really open to critics and it's really bad right so allowing yourself to improve opens you up to receive any kind of critique can be bad can be good see every photo any photographer takes is quite personal to be very honest i have been there right i understand how hurtful it is to you know to have your work being told that it's trash it doesn't look right it's not to the right part it's true it's hurtful but also allowing yourself to accept this particular critique will help you go back sit down realize that oh hey i need to do better i need to improve which sends me to the very next point. Getting yourself a mentor will help you in a long way, believe me. I used to watch a lot of Prince Mason's video back then in 2018. Um, he used to, you know, teach a lot on dark skin. I think he's one of 
he's a he's the first person to have done a lot of videos on editing dark melanin skin and he helped a lot of people well i'm also one of the people he helped right so i watched his videos and i used to do frequency separation like how he did but i never got his results right what i want to tell you is he was my mentor back then concerning retouch looking at how he edited his images looking at how he made that skin look perfect looking at how he even did his dodging and burning looking at how he even did his frequency separation he always looked very good and as much as his retouching is looking different from now of course which he has improved i realized that i had to learn in my own way so looking up to him looking up to what he does looking up to exactly what i used to see on his youtube channel i'll probably pick it up right go and sit down and learn do a lot of research on what i can do best to my type of frequency separation and you know i developed my style so if he's using wet 10 wet um, um i don't even remember the frequency separation you know values but yeah wet load and i think mixture i don't know you guys just i just don't know but all i remember is wet mixture and all that you know values if he's using a value of 30 i'm using a value of 15 just because of how um, hard i would probably press my brush or how soft i probably pr uh, press my brush i am trying to make it look organic and you know natural as possible you understand so from there then i learned how to you know use dodging and burning to make sure my images are looking better and using just frequency separation and so it graduated from there so allowing myself to improve allowing myself to have a mentor allow myself to know who i was looking up to to make sure my retouching game was on point was what made me become better at what you know retouching today so make sure you allow yourself to improve allow yourself to have a mentor it can be me it can be anybody else you see as a better retoucher you know certain trends right we all follow trends these days so the trends that are this the the i won't say the person's the person is a marking scheme but you know people will probably appreciate an art if it's good and very good you understand and we are all social beings at the moment so if it's, if the whole social network is supporting a particular way of editing or particular image and you take a look at the image and it's better than yours you can probably pick that person as a mentor so you know finding your mentor is subjective to you right i have my own currently i've changed i have a lot of mentors i used to you know have one right now i have like two or three and i keep on changing as time goes on that is how you keep you keep yourself adept with you know the new changes that are coming if you're stuck with one mentor and that mentor is not improving it's to your own detriment so the more you get yourself new mentors the more you improve yourself as a creative i have said this a lot in all of my previous videos i always say this practice doesn't make anybody you know perfect practice makes improvement so you see how it's linked to allowing yourself to improve if you allow yourself to improve that means you're practicing right practicing will send you to the next step of whatever level you are when it comes to you know retouching editing taking pictures taking videos anything concerning the creative genre practice will make you improve in your craft consistency is a key to making yourself way better than um, you were a day ago or a year ago a month ago even an hour ago i can say this to you you can have an image you edit it like let's say in an hour you can edit the same image in the next two hours you probably wouldn't get the same results that is what practice and consistency is going to do to you if you're consistent on your craft you're going to grow so much that you get a lot of recognition from each and every creative you want to see out there right i used to be very consistent when i started but you know as you grow you get to have a lot of responsibilities and making yourself disciplined can help you stay consistent it's difficult to stay consistent when you grow but you know discipline will help you stay consistent so practice makes improvements consistency is the key to keeping you better and the results are what we always see all the time so put this in mind pcr practice consistency and a good result is what will keep you as a very good creative when it comes to retouching so i hope i've said enough i know i've I, I, I'm sure I have not exceeded the five minutes, but if I have, forgive me, guys. This is, you know, one of many five minutes videos I'll be producing. It wouldn't be just editing tutorials. It can also be these kind of talks where I educate you on a thing or two when it comes to 
photography since i'm a photographer myself so thank you so much for watching today's video make sure you subscribe before you leave share this video if it was helpful let somebody else also come and learn a thing or two from this particular video like i mentioned earlier leave down in the comment section any question you have for me at all don't come into my dms please i am begging you leave it down here i'll get right to it i'll answer you anything you want to ask from me i'll answer you here on my youtube down in my comment section Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.